What's up? We're live. What's up, Phyllis? I'm gonna adjust this a little bit. I'm gonna make this down a little bit. There. Oh. Hey, I see myself. I'm liking my video. I can hear myself. Yeah. How you doing, Phyllis? Hopefully you're doing well. Supermark, what's up? I'm going to uh, Israel. How you doing? I think I saw Matias. What's up, Matias? I got some FX paint. I want to try it out on... Uh, the old, uh, look at, look at that shine. Look at that shine on this helmet. I mean, that thing is popping. Telling you, it's popping. What's up, David? Clink, what's up? Tony, how you doing? Um, not too bad so far. Um, I'm, uh, I'm tired. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little on the tired side. So I just actually just got home a little while ago. So I figured while I was uh, waiting, I wanted to, I've never used any of this FX paint. So I wanted to at least try to get one coat on because I know it's probably going to take a couple of coats, but, uh, I want to try to get at least one on tonight. Let's see how this goes. <sighs> Yo, Jay, what's up? How you doing, brother? I promise you we're not going to be doing this all night or the whole live stream. I just want to get one coat on. Cause I've never used this FX paint, and I feel, and I knew it was going to take a couple. Of, I know it's going to take a couple of coats, so I didn't think you guys would mind too much. Nicole, what's up? Harold Green, Mama said, "Pop you out in the house," and you guys know because you heard me say it enough. This is sort of relaxing for me helps me decompress but at least you guys will get to see sort of the paint scheme i'm going for jet patrol what's up i will say this i am really digging this fx paint uh it's mainly used it's used a lot in the cosplay community but uh, it goes on really good. I'm actually uh, pretty pretty impressed with it right now. I've never used it, so we're we're learning together. We're learning together. If I could sing, I'd do some Beatles for you. Come together right now. For you and me. I think I said that right. How's everybody been doing today? Hopefully well. Hopefully wonderfully well. I will tell you this, little points are the hardest to paint. <sighs> Thank you, Phyllis. It's 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 coming along. Um, you know, I, I could have took my I could have took it another level and hid the seams a little bit, but since um, since I've never done this one, I didn't really know how it was going to turn out. If I do another one, I will definitely do a better job of hiding the seams. Thanks, Yo Jay. I'm I'm legitimately getting into it hardcore right now. 
it's this is just legitimately so much fun it takes time you got to dedicate some time to it but man is it fun it's it's straight up just a blast Oh, enchanted, thank you so much. The one thing with this FX paint that I'm discovering is a little bit goes a long way. And I'm sure you could use it for other, other projects like, you know, painting figures and things like that. Um, I'm almost 99.9% .9 sure you could. That's right, 99.9%. .9 Oh, we're almost done with the first coat. I did forget a cr crucial component on this helmet. <laughs> um, yeah, I actually forgot a piece. Big dummy me forgot a piece. So I'm gonna have to do a do over. And I can't believe it too. I noticed it after when I was putting the actual uh, final coat on it that uh, the the piece I missed, and I was like, "Are you kidding me right now?" I don't know if I'm gonna paint that. So there's there's what we're going for right there. We'll put a little bit more over here. That one was a little a little thin. So yeah, so this is the, I decided to go with the black and uh, chromey one. So there we go, right there. First coat's on. I dig it. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna paint the fronts right there or leave them black. I don't know yet. I don't have to make that decision right now though. I do not. So the paint I'm using, and you can get this at Michael's and Hobby Lobby now. It's uh, five bucks a bottle, but uh, FX. And they got a lot of different colors, but uh, yeah, right there. Look at that high gloss sheen right there. Boom. So yeah, the next one I do, I'm actually going to do a better job. I'm going to sand down the seams and hide those so um actually the inside I, I don't know yet if i do anything on the inside it'll be just like a primer coat but to be honest with you i've got the inside cheeks done and that's about all that you can see once you put it on is just like the inside right there so i'm not gonna worry about it i don't think so that's gonna sit there and dry and uh I can get some aqua. Glow sniffer, what's up? What's up, David? Clean my brush up here. Got 26 in here already? What's up with that? I do have some stuff I wanna open up. Got some mail, I'm gonna open that up. Uh, but I also have another project that I knocked out. I actually posted on Instagram um, the other day. Um, found another template that I'm going to be uh, using, and I actually made one of these. I actually went with the red. I'm, I've done a, I haven't done a black wash on it yet, but uh, so what I'm actually going to do with this one is I'm actually going to take. I've got some super wide uh, Velcro. It's like two inches wide. And I'm actually going to take a, an actual mask that you go around your ears and I'm going to Velcro it to the inside. And so it would be like this. Because this one is actually designed more to be at ear level. But boom. So I was showing it to, I was showing it to Kim and first thing out of her mouth when she saw it, she goes, 
You need to do one that looks like Joker grinning because of the way this was designed. So um, that may be happening. But I just thought it'd be cool because that way you can take a cloth mask and if you put the Velcro on it, it'll stick inside and hold this in place. And then you can pull it out and you can wash uh, the mask out. So I'm gonna be experimenting with that, but I need to do, I'm gonna do a black wash on it or I might do some, just some highlights. I don't know yet, but I did this one a little bit different. Um, yeah, Harold Michaels uh, Hobby Lobby. Uh, but I did this one a little different. So I did the Plasti Dip. But then I actually hit it with some 2X Primer. Boom. And then I hit it with the actual paint. And I mean, it came out actually pretty smooth. I got one edge right there that's a little funky. But overall, the seams and everything actually came out pretty good overall considering i put this thing together in like an hour out of scrap pieces of the phone uh actually no david the beauty of this one is right here this little section right here it actually comes out right here so when you breathe out the air actually goes it's exhaust fans <laughs> It's exhaust ports. That's what that's what these little cutouts right here are. So when it's actually up against your face, let me see if I can. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, I got a better idea. Hang on. Hang on. I don't, I don't know if it'll work or not, but we're gonna try it. I'm gonna use my dummy head. So yeah, so see like right there, you got exhaust ports. Of course, they're not that wide on my head because I got a big old head. So when you breathe out, the air goes backwards, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> and literally I can, I've, I've been test fitting it and it, um, it actually works. Keek Elmo, what's up? So yeah, it's got like, like I said, right there. So yeah. Boom. There's always something going on at the toy bench. Always something going on. You can't, you can't let things, you just got to keep your mind going. You can't just, it's not all about videos. It's not all about work. It's not, it's about everything. Got to keep it fresh. You got to keep, just keep it going. Venom teeth. That's not a bad idea. Right, never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. Good day. Welcome from Sydney. Pam. So, um, but yeah, that's basically, um, I got the, um, I'm thinking I've got the final coat of primer on the old Lone Wolf helmet. Um, I got, went and picked up some 1500 grit sandpaper this past weekend. So hopefully I'll be putting the first coat of aluminum on that bad boy. Um, it sits over and stares at me. Tall oh, man, hey, what's up? Um, I will tell you this. You do not want to miss tomorrow's video. I'm telling you. I'm looking at tomorrow's video right there. The results. The results. I'm telling you, it's right there. You do not want to miss tomorrow's video. <laughs> because I'm legitimately uh, happy with what is right across from me. Like, if we go this way and around, it's right there. I'm just telling you. Mark my words. You need to tell everybody to watch tomorrow's video. It's on point. 
Rowan, what's up? Uh, Sentinel helmet. Ooh, Sentinel helmet. You know, trunk full of him. <laughs> I don't have that luxury no more. Since Kim retired, I don't have that luxury no more. Um, Sentinel helmet. Sentinel's hyped right now. It's hyped. I thought about doing a video going why I didn't get the Sentinel. <laughs> It looks good though. God, golly bum, it looks good. It's a good looking figure. And the crazy thing about it is, is you're getting all kinds of crazy figures with it that you're not gonna get unless you get a Sentinel. So I got boxes here. Um, I saw Mr. Imaginations in here. I, I, I got a box. Oh, yep. I got a box from him right here. Boom. Mr. Imagination, does this box seem familiar to you? Does it seem familiar? <laughs> I think everybody did. Uh, I didn't, just for the simple fact that... Um, you know, I mean, it's it's just some things fit, some things don't. So, um, boom. Get this bad boy cut. Looks familiar. All right, I got his address right there, so I'm gonna open up this side. It does have, let me cover this up. It does have Fragili on it. Ooh. <laughs> I see something in there already. What? No, you did not. John, dude. Dude. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is great. This is actually really great because I found, I actually have this. I took photos of it, but here's the thing. So, um, the box that mine came in, um, it sort of got abused by a five-year-old. <laughs> accidentally. Accidentally. Nice. The Destro is a great looking figure. Um, so this is awesome. John, thank you so much. This one right here, it is, it's a great looking pop. It's legit. It's on point. It's legit. Legit. I need to move stuff over a little bit. There you go. A little bit more. Stay. Um, the detail on this pop is great. It's 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 legitimately it, it's on point. Check that bad boy out. I think this is probably one of the best. I mean, it's it's like up there in one of the best detailed pops. Because here's the thing, um, and I don't know if many of you have noticed or not, but the detail on the actual cape has ridges, grooves in it, which are great. I wonder if I can say great one more time. The chest piece right there is great. I love this pop. But I am not gonna lie. John, because of you, I can do what I wanna do. I was gonna do it anyway because the box is sort of jacked up. But I was gonna take mine off this base even though the pictures that I put of mine actually has the base on it. Uh, I actually covered the base up with dirt, but um, I just, I'm, I'm sorry. That, to me, this is one of the worst things they could ever do to Pops is make it to where you can't take it off the base. They just, I'm sorry. They just... Don't hate me too much. Don't hate me. But I think they should dadgum 
come off the bases. Because that keeps crazy people like me from doing what I do to them and putting them in hot water and popping the base off. And the crazy thing about it is the pop still has the, the hole for the peg. And if you are going to glue the thing down, just put a little bit of glue on it. Like just a little bit of hot glue. What? No, you didn't. Dude, John. Dude. Hey, if you ain't checked out Mr. Imagination, uh, he did a toy photography video. You need to check that out. No, you didn't. Look at there. Hook me up with a dark beast. This is a sick figure. This is a sick figure right here. Now, here's the thing. Let me put this top right here. Here's the thing. I said this in a previous videos. The one main thing on this figure that I truly, truly want was the hammer, right? Japan, what part of Japan? I was stationed in Okinawa for a year. Um, because I want to get into uh, casting, uh, resin casting. And this hammer is one of the first things that I wanted to do. Okay, I know where that's at. Um, but I don't like the sugar. And the hammer, when I cast it, I'm, I'm probably going to destroy it because of the sugar. I'm going to try to take it off because I don't want it on it. Um, but, but I'm going to, I'm going to make it look right. But, um, uh, I just think I, I want to cast these. I want to make some hammers. So that's my next thing. Um, this thing and make, make resin out of it, make some molds. Um, and this is small enough to be the first project to where it won't be like crazy. Um, I just think it'd be cool to be able to make your own your own hammers. Um, that's sort of what I was thinking about doing as well, Joe. That's actually a good point. Cause actually I was watching, I was, I've been chatting with some people that do this. And one of the things they made a comment was, is when you make your, um, your, your cast, right. You can actually take that part out and then put grooves and you can do the fine details before you actually pour the mold. So I wanted extras so I could actually do one with and without just in case. And thank you, John, you hooked me up. That was too kind to you, my friend. Too kind. Thank you so much. I can't believe you did that. That made my day. Um, right? You see, here's, here's the thing. I, I'll be the first one to admit, I'm not an expert in this stuff. I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning as I'm going. Um, and when you start about doing casts and resin casts and then moldings, that's a whole nother layer, but I'm excited for it. Am uh, we actually have two. Wait a minute. We've got one in Charleston. And yeah, we got two. There's one in Charleston and one in Chattanooga. So yeah, we got them. You're trying to get a job at Amazon, Ren? So you can get stuff before it gets to your house? Just checking. It's not a bad idea. What's up, Lisa? How you doing? Um, but yeah, that's just... Man, this community just, I say it all the time, but it just blows my mind. We got a great community. Lego, ooh, Lego bricks. I was actually, so what I was going to do is um, I watched this one guy do it. Uh, basically took some foam core, hot glued it all down, and that's how you actually use to pour the resin as the walls. Lego bricks, though. Hmm. that 
Chino, that's a good idea. But see, that's the thing. What's up, Blair? You know, if I can do this, and it's an investment, you know, um, but that's the beauty of it. you get your, your resins, you get your, your, your molds, and it'd just be fun. Ooh, Dana Baird. Yeah, glue sniffer, yep. I saw that done too. Like I said, it's gonna be a lot of trial and error. That's why I wanted to use that hammer as the first thing because it's small enough to where you don't waste a lot, but it's also detailed enough to where it'd be really, really cool. I will do that, David. Craftsman. No way. Got your Yoda arrived. Booyah. Dropping a Yoda. I also got, I don't know, if, I don't think Bill's in here yet. I got something from Bill. I got something from Bill. I think we can tell by the box what's in the box. Maybe. Get them figures. <laughs> Get them figures. I can just see, Ren, I can just see you, man, working like on a sorting line, and you, and you see like a boss going, that's a Funko Pop. You'd be like, oh, that's a Funko Pop. <laughs> I can see you doing it. I think we all would. Man, Bill didn't want me to get in this box. Oh, there we go. We cracked it. We cracked it. We cracked the seal. Oh, snap. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, is this what I think it is? Oh. This is the one that I needed right here. Right there. That is the only one I needed. Could Bill have hooked me up? Did Bill hook me up? We got one black bag. We got another black bag. Oh, yes, my set is complete. Check this thing out. That thing is wicked cool. Check out that deep. I mean, this is a mini. Oh, man, that, that is sick. Look at that detail right there. My set is complete. Now I can start boiling them. <laughs> I can start boiling them. Oh my goodness. This is, this one looks, man, that looks so cool. Bam. Bill, thank you, my friend. Oh, that's crazy cool. Oh, and just so you guys know, this is legitimately my first complete set of minis. <laughs> it, is, it is mean looking. I mean, Thing is evil looking right there and what's what's cool is like when you turn his head it snaps back like what are you looking at are you looking at me <laughs> yes i'm stoked now stoked because they're all right back here behind me and i have refused to take them off their bases until i have all of them Show them. <laughs> That's actually a valid point. Show what show what bubble wrap is. Nice. Look at this. Man, you guys are making my day. John's made my day. Bill's made my day. 48 people in here hanging out with me's made my day. Chris, that's a wicked looking figure. 
That is a wicked looking figure. Yeah, I've not seen any of the Joes um, other than the ones I picked up at Ultimate Comics. I've not seen any in, I've not seen the displays or anything in Chattanooga or Cleveland or anywhere. So I don't, I truthfully don't know when it comes to come to those things. I got something here all the way from Brooklyn, New York. From Toy Dealer 2020. Let me ask you a question. I want y'all to seriously think about this. I'm going to use toy, toy Dealer here. So from Toy Dealer 2020. Do you, all, do, you, do you think post office workers or UPS people look at some of these names and be like, what is this? Like Night of Wren 789. If I sent Wren something and put Night of Wren 789 in his address, do you think that the post office and UPS people will be like, hmm, I wonder what that's all about? Just saying. We got some interesting names in the toy community. All right, Wally, well, I think they do. <laughs> right, Nick Money. Nick Money. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's a good looking figure. It 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 is. Yeah, yo Jay. Yo Jay! See, that sort of rolls off though, because it'd be like yo Jay. So But then you got, you know, Colex. <laughs> What's up, Brian? Tend to leave the name off. Okay. Uh, the new pop price guide, um, I truthfully haven't looked much at it, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I like what we used to have, uh, Stashpedia. So, they, they're still out there, Wally, you know, they, they, they come, they come. I'm still doing them. That's why you need to watch the Bards video. You know? <laughs> Amory, what's up? <laughs> the uh, toy photography videos. I love doing toy photography videos. Toy photography videos, uh, they literally take the longest to do. No, no, no joke. They literally take the longest to create. Um, and here's straight up the reason why they take me so long to create is because I get into taking the photos and sometimes I forget. <laughs> so it happens. It does happen. But, uh, I do love making those. Those will always continue to be part of my channel. It's just Again, it's by the time you, I'm actually going to do, I, I am actually going to do a toy photography video. So here's the thing. Watch tomorrow's video and that'll give you hints to what the next toy photography video may be about. Just saying, just saying. I'm just, it's important. You got to watch it. You got to watch tomorrow's video because I legitimately have thought about doing a toy photography video in conjunction with tomorrow's video. <laughs> Thank you, Wally. That's, that's what it's all about. I mean, it's, 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 that's what it's all about is sharing information. I don't, I mean, if you, like I said, I've been a photographer since 2000 and when you're doing weddings and models and headshots and things like that, man, photographers get very secretive. 
they don't really like to share information. Some do, a lot don't, and it's sort of cutthroat in a way. So it's just one of those things to, you know, what I do here in the in the toy community with my photography, because there's a lot of people out there a whole lot better than I am, just saying, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. I've seen some stuff that is legit on point. And... It's just, Harold, here's the thing. In all honesty, here's the, you know, when it comes to doing the toy photography videos and motivation, you've already got the motivation by the amount of photos you post. The motivation's already there. It's not the motivation, it's the want. The want to do it. Let's, let's just be real. And like I said, when you do photography videos and you're trying to explain and you're trying to show as much information as you can, it's important, you know, and it's hard to do sometimes. So, yeah, Sir Dork, man, Sir Dork, pff, I love his videos. Especially this new stuff he's doing where he's breaking bottles and I am so going to copy that. Sir Dork, you see this? It's, it's happening because you're the man. I'm just straight up telling you. Uh, and the thing I like about him, he uses practical effects. So it's not like taking a photo on a black screen or a white screen and then overlaying it with digital art. That's digital art. And that's great, but I like practical effects. I like practical poses, dynamic stuff, blah, blah, blah. So that's why I like Sir Dork so much because he does things, you know, and Harold does it as well. But it's just, you just gotta, you just gotta get out there and do it, you know? And a lot of the times it's like, and Harold, you've already done some of that stuff. You've done some behind the scenes stuff you posted. So, just do it, man. The only thing stop you is air and opportunity. <laughs> there went the air. <laughs> but I will say this. It does take longer to, like, if, if I'm doing an unboxing video, it's a box, it's a camera, unbox, show, boom, bam, done. If you're doing a hunt video, get in the car, drive, boom, 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 done. Photography videos... You're setting things up. You're looking at lighting. You're trying to explain the process. And and that's where I have the problem is because I'll get involved in it. And a lot of times I'll forget that the camera is going. I've done a couple of toy photography videos that you guys have never seen. That's just because I forgot I was filming. And I was just sitting there shooting. And I forgot completely about what I, this camera sitting over here. So it turned out to be like 15, 20 minutes of me just and talking to myself about why that ain't working or griping at the wind for blowing my figure over. <laughs> uh, but I did like what Mitch, Mr. Imagination did with some light painting. That was really, really cool. Light painting is awesome. Long, long shutter exposures. Take a, take a piece of light, man. Just do this right here. You can create some really cool stuff with light painting. Um, I actually did some light painting with my drone, which was really cool because the drone has the lights on it, uh, had red and green lights. And so, man, I just threw that shutter open, flew, the, and, and it's weird because the lights was doing this, trailing off into the, into the night. It was actually really cool. Two flowers, what's up? Yeah, Snake Eyes is wicked cool. Um, as of right now, the the five I've got, Scarlet and Snake Eyes are my favorite. Based on Scarlet's my favorite between Duke and Roadblock and Destro. Um, Duke, Scarlet. Yeah, Duke, Scarlet, Roadblock, Destro. Scarlet's my favorite because I think she's more balanced. 
uh, color and everything wise. I think she's a lot more balanced. Uh, Roadblock impressed me with his articulation because he had that full vest on. There's no cuts in it. That really impressed me. But um, I, that's the only one I've got. My Snake Eyes, which he's somewhere. What do I do with him? Oh, he's up there. <laughs> um, that's the one I got. Um, I don't think I'll get the other one because I already got a Snake Eyes. But I was on the fence with the new Joes until I actually saw them. Once I saw them in person, and 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 I'll use Duke as an example. Duke's promo photos, glam shots. I thought the head sculpt looked like Jonesy from or Josie, whatever it is, from Fortnite. But after seeing it in person, totally surprised. I was like, man, that thing looks good. What's up, Ryan? I got a lot of neck of uh, predators. I got a lot of them. I like predators. I like me some predators. I might use predators with what's in tomorrow's video. If you haven't figured it out yet, I'm really pushing tomorrow's video hard because I really enjoyed the video that's releasing tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> Uh, no, I did not, Charlie. I did not. I've been nose down all day at work. Um, I've not seen much social media wise. Um, yeah. David, you're right. They do. They look so much better in person. You telling me, OJ. Sorry about that. Anthony, what's up? Uh, but yeah, when I saw him in person, it, it seriously was a no-brainer. It was seriously a no-brainer. Ooh, Darth Vader and aliens? I like that. Cross-contamination. Yes, I'm a big fan of that. I am a huge fan of cross-contamination. Doing good, Anthony. How you doing? I like how you got your name changed, Anthony Just Blaze. Is that is that is that part of the fire situation that's going on, or was going on, or maybe still is going on? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, don't be afraid to cross contaminate. Don't be afraid to use Marvel and DC, Star Wars and Toy Story. Don't be afraid to do any of that. I think that is so much fun to do. Is take something that uh, good here we go good example let me use my my buddy here joker i might have joker with a stormtrooper at some point i don't know the only thing i'm saying is don't be afraid it's actually pretty cool to do i was trying to find so i cleaned everything off because of tomorrow's video that's releasing at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So what I had on my benches is gone because of that video that's releasing tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Or I would show you something using this Joker, but I can't because of the video that's releasing tomorrow at 10 a.m. <laughs> yeah, Joe's, I mean, seriously, it's like at the end of the day, See, Charlie, you think you know, but you don't know. So take that, Mr. Man. <laughs> uh, but that's the beauty of toys. There is, no, there is no right or wrong way. It's what you want to create. That is why it's called art. <laughs> you do whatever you want to do. Uh, yeah, it's going to return at some point whenever I can go to the mall and not have to social distance. Because that's the whole point of the therapy table is to be like, hey, what's up? I'd have to have like a super wide camera. I'd have to have 26 mics just so you'd be able to see everybody. And we wouldn't be able to read the chat because it's so far away. 
But yes, at some point, it's coming. Because I was actually talking to Kim at dinner tonight that um, I really miss hanging out with Matias and Jeff, the OJ. I mean, I miss it. I miss it bad. Seriously. I mean, it's, I miss it bad. Uh, the mall's open. It's just the food court. And, and the thing about it is, if and it's not even about wearing the mask as much as it is, you know, Matias has a family. Jeff has a family. I've got kid, uh, grandkids. You know, I'm just being logical about it, you know. I was, I've thought about doing the live stream thing as well. Um, and that still may come at some point. I just got to get with the guys and see what we can do. Uh, but I'm, I miss hanging out with the guys on Saturday morning. I mean, just for the BS that we do. So, yeah, it's like the seating areas. So, I miss it too, man. I, I straight up miss it. Because it's like one of those pieces of your routine. I was actually telling Kim this afternoon that this year has... It's literally halfway through July. Two more weeks, it's going to be 1st of August. And I feel like this year has almost been a waste because of the things like, when I, even when I go into Walmart and Target, I can't enjoy it like I normally do. It, Mr. Magistration, yeah, you're right. I mean, yeah, the max ain't the issue. It's the fact that you're still six feet away and the fact that they don't have... <laughs> I'm getting messages from <laughs> Mr. Tangs. He's watching the live stream. Um, but it's just one of those things where I don't want it to feel so sterile. I want it to, I want it to be fun and... And again, they're even, I think they're even limiting like our Chattanooga area, you know, they went back into sort of a impromptu lockdown until I think August or September 15th. Like it's mandatory. You got to wear masks, which that's okay with me. But uh, as far as dining and things like that, you know, and again, I'm, I'm, I want to be conscientious, especially of Matias and Jeff because they've got kids so, you got to think about your fellow person. Yeah, it's, it's 2020 has, has been one of those things to where it's, uh, it's been a year of reflection for me. I've, I've, I've really took a big, long look uh, as I just spotted something that I can use. Um yeah, you know, I'm hoping, I mean, as of right now, the only saving thing I can think of right now for 2020, and it's a big if, is if they do GalaxyCon in North Carolina. I'm personally saying right now that it ain't going to happen. I hope I'm wrong, but uh, I just, I don't, I don't think it will. Based on the way everything's going, I just, I don't think it will. It'd be nice because I'd love to go up there and hang out with Kent and, and Jetta and actually get to see at least one con uh, this year. But, all right, this is totally, totally out of scale. But uh, I did it anyway. It's totally out of scale. I'm going to use the beast. All right, hang on. <laughs> I put Joker on his moped. <laughs> it's totally out of scale. Totally out of scale. All right, so Toy Dealer 2020. Well, we've opened up some boxes. We've, we're, we're just having some fun. Uh, but Toy Dealer 2020 sent me something all the way from Brooklyn. So we're going to check that bad boy out. Let's see what it is. 
Christmas card. Hobby Lobby's already got Christmas decorations out. It it doesn't look bad. Motorcycle's a little small. But see, now, here's the thing. I want the Deadpool uh, scooter, the little combo that came with the, what was it, a little dog or squirrel or whatever it was, that red scooter, that would be perfect with the Joker figure. All right, this is from Brooklyn. I have no idea what it is. It's bubble wrapped. What is this? What? What is this? I know what that is. Okay. And I know what this is. What is this? I mean, I know what this is, but. Okay, so already this is like wicked cool. Because this is a wicked cool saber. If I can ever get it out. Tell me the truth. Do you like popping bubbles and bubble wrap? It's pretty cool. Vroom. Check out this. Look at this thing. That's a beefy. That's a beefy saber. All right. What in the world? What is this? Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. I'm trying to figure this thing out. What, this is wicked cool. Hang on, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get this, uh, this on here. With my gorilla fingers. There we go. Oh, Dude, hang on. I have never seen this. I don't even know anything about this right here, but check that bad boy out. That is dope. That is, that is insanely cool. I have no idea. Do you guys know? Ah, but check this out. Boink. Look at this thing. That is so cool. I have literally... Hang on. Lucas Films. Uh, 2006 or 2008. Sorry, I'm blind as a bat. I think it's 2006. Metacom, Metacom toy, boom, right there. That is, so, and, the, and the actual cape comes off. That is, that is awesome. Oh my goodness, this thing is, oh, his, his feet rotate. We got rotating feet. Now he's all like pigeon toed. Uh, his arms do, do go up, elbow, no bend in the elbow, but. His uh, wrist turn. So Vader's number one. <laughs> that is awesome. What? I mean, I love seeing things I've never seen before. I, I love seeing things. And, and, the, and this is really cool for a lot of reasons. Number one, it's everything's over-exaggerated, like the feet. In the hands, you know, and that is, I cannot wait to take a photo of this bad boy. That is sick. There was no letterage, no letterage. So, um, Toy Dealer 2020, thank you. That is so cool. 
I'm like I said, I've never seen this before. But I tell you this, that's that's straight up. That's straight up. Uh, that's like a 15 on the coolness factor. One out of 10. That's straight up 15. Just out of the fact of how interesting it looks, and the fact that his helmet comes off. It don't matter if it's that's what this is. That's that's priceless to me because it ain't never leaving the collection. That's for sure. You know me. I don't, I don't get rid of anything that people send me. I will sell everything that I personally have bought before I sell anything if someone gets me. That is that's that's awesome. That is neat. Now here's the crazy thing. Stormtrooper, Mandalorian, Boba, all of them look like this. It would be cool. And they may have done it. I don't know. But this is crazy cool. They got troopers? Booyah. Send me a link. DM me a link on that old runny eggs. That, that's, that's, that's cool. Nice. Toy Dealer 2020, thank you so much. I might have to, oh yeah. Yeah, he gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna photograph him soon. Ah, like I said, man, to me, the pops, the, the, I mean, to me, here's the thing, all right? I don't, I don't do the whole money thing. That right there, to me, that right there is just as awesome as this is because someone took their time. Uh, the pop, the measure imagination and bees, people take their time to, you know, send me things. And man, that's, that's all that's priceless to me. That is priceless to me. There's no monetary value that I can put on anything that someone sends me. And I don't even care if it's a Hot Wheels car a postcard. It, that ain't the way I roll. Like I said, I mean, to me, it's whatever. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, it does look like Babe Ruth. <laughs> I pose. But when, when I, when, like I said, when you guys take time out of your day and money out of your pocket and you find things and, and you, you hook me up with things that I can't find or blah, blah, blah. Um, I, I can't put a dollar amount on it. I just can't. It's priceless to me. And I don't care if it's a a dollar ninety seven clearance mystery mini. It's 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 priceless to me. So that's just me. Bunny pop. See? That's right. So I mean and again, and I'm not kidding. Here's the thing. I am not by any means whatsoever condoning. If you get something that don't fit your collection, blah, 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 and, and you trade it or you sell it to get something else, that's that. I'm just talking about for me. For me and my personal style, these things, they're, they're a connection with who sent it to me. And to me, that's more important than a dollar. A, a denomination that I, I can put on it. And like I said, everybody was posting, you know, this thing, 150, 200. I don't, I really don't care. The price is irrelevant to me. It's totally irrelevant. It could be worth a, a million dollars. I don't care. It still is going to stay in my collection. It's not going anywhere because it took the time to send it to me. And that, that to me means a lot to me. So, that's just me. But don't forget, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, you will want to watch the video that I'm dropping. <laughs> uh, thank you, Two Flowers. That's that's kind of you. Sand Trooper Pops. Oh, you got a Sand Trooper Pop. Rocco the Great. Yo, yo. What's up? Give us. I have. I have. It's going to be related to photography. 
not tomorrow's video that's dropping at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but a future video. <laughs> Pops don't stink. Don't be a hater. You still ain't got me on. We, we still ain't had this debate that you keep talking about. <laughs> Which there is no debate. There is no debate. None whatsoever. Great. Ooh, Gazoo Pop. That's cool. One day. All right. Here's the thing. You say your you say your S7 doesn't cut it anymore. What is it not cutting? What is it not cutting? <laughs> you can watch it after the meeting. It's not a premiere, so you can watch it after the meeting. You got it all day. Um, <laughs> the uh, um, God, man, I just squirrel. Man, I man, my brain just squirrel big time. Oh, got you. Grainy. Okay. I, okay. Okay. I, I get it. You know, and you might actually have, uh, you might actually get like a, a third party app, a uh, camera app, like, uh, oh God, I got them right here on my phone. Uh, that may help. That may help as well. Cause sometimes you can get the thirties and uh, actually do some adjustments. M50 is a great camera. Got one myself. They're awesome. I like my M50. Um, all right, Jeff. Ooh, broke the glass. Ooh, Charlie. No, say it isn't so. Thanks, Ren. I just saw your notification. I will check it out after the stream. Thank you, sir. Old runny eggs, thank you so much. It's fun. It's fun to do. It's fun to do. It's relaxing. It's uh it's just it's just fun to do. Paint's dried. I need another coat, but uh yeah. It's dried. Voila. Boom. Hmm, not bad. I'll let it dry overnight and I'll put another coat on it tomorrow. Yeah, I was, I really was torn. Like I said earlier, I was really torn on, uh, I'll check him out. He gets, he gets a lot of color put on him. I actually bought a new one over the weekend. Um, but the, uh, get over there. Uh, I was going to do like the, I think it's like a red and a purple, but then I actually just sort of like the, the, the black and the silver chrome. Yeah, this mainly black and it's gonna have the, the chrome front. So I was saying earlier that I missed a vital piece. And the crazy thing about it is I actually had the piece cut. And I had a shop rag laying over the top of it. But it's the piece that goes right here all the way around. Noob. I actually had the piece cut. There's a piece of like this trim here that goes all the way around and meets right there. Such a noob. <laughs> yep. I like the first class helmet. So like I said, this one gave me some uh, learning experience. Um, and uh, like I said, I made this one out of some uh, scrap foam that I had. So uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked with it. Yeah, I mean, I think overall it it, it actually turned out pretty good. Um, overall, now you can't read my thoughts. Nope, you can't read them. Right, Ren? Black and silver? It's classic. Just saying. Whoa. 
So if I had hair, I wouldn't get this thing on. It's a little snug, but it's fun. It's fun to do. It's fun to play with. And uh, uh, that one right there, I actually put together. I actually put it together quick. The actual helmet part went together real quick. Uh, took me a while to trim out uh, this piece right here. Uh, the silver piece is actually one solid piece of foam. So that was the trickiest part. Not necessarily cutting it out, but actually gluing it. That was... I actually do have a, uh, a helmet that I'm wanting to do. I've actually got the pattern. And it is sort of like Leon Leonidas. Sort of like it. It's close enough. Uh... I haven't picked up as many pops this year, believe it or not. Um, haven't really seen a lot that's spoke to me. The the black light pops, uh, that's probably my favorites of 2020. Ooh, a black light helmet. So here's the thing. If I could find a pattern for this, I would actually so make it. But uh, I was watching Spaceballs the other day lord helmet big helmet um so yeah it's uh it's this is this is like i said stuff like this is just it's fun to do um i know we haven't been up to the toy table in a long time and that's just because i've moved a lot of stuff down here um this is where i spend a lot of time relaxing and trying to get the keep the creative juices going. So, uh, <laughs> ooh, a juggernaut helmet that would be cool. I think so far out of all my helmets, I mean, I'm a, I'm I'm still digging my 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 Red Guardian helmet a lot, even though it technically started out as a Daredevil mask. This one is still one of my favorites. I mean, I really dig this helmet a lot because Red Guardian's got a beard and I have a beard. And I think this looks pretty awesome. And I may have this on tomorrow at 10 o'clock when I watch my own video that's dropping. Just saying. Oh, <laughs> so this one actually is one of my favorites, but I am actually thinking about redoing this one and actually, um, because I really enjoyed making this one. This, one, I think I'm just going to just, I'm just going to keep wearing this that way. The red guardians actually doing this live stream. And the Red Guardian recommends that you watch my video at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. <laughs> it's one of my favorites, to tell you the truth, because it's, I don't know. It, I don't know what it is about it. I think it's because it was something totally, um, the weathering, everything just seemed to work on this one a lot, really good. Like when I was making my Mempo mask, the last one I made, which was uh, Scorpion, I'm not really, I'm, I'm not digging it. I'm really not digging it right now. I'm just, I, I'm not digging it. Uh, the construction I like, but I'm just, I don't know. I'm not digging it. It's a good mask. Sub Zero, I dig it a little better, but um, yeah, learning moments, learning moments. That's what these are all about, learning. Boom. I don't know, I'm just not digging it. I think I went, I think I went too crazy 
with the battle damage. I think that's what it is. I think that's the thing I'm not liking about it. Doom. This one is okay. I just don't like the color blue. Yeah, I, I did, old runny eggs. I did. I went crazy. I went crazy. And that's the bad thing about it is when you're working with foam, it's especially with black foam. If I remember, I was this, no, this is the, I can't remember if this is the black foam or the gray foam, but when you start doing the damage with the foam, it's, um, it's real easy to get lost. Um, Cause you, you can't really see it good until you paint it. Uh, that's when you really start seeing it. But I think what got me on this the more than anything was the toothpaste process for uh, the peeling. Um, yeah. But I learned something for it. I learned. That's the thing. I learned. Learned something new. Uh -huh. They're they're all these masks. So the masks themselves, they're all pretty much the same um, dimensions. Um, now this particular mask compared to this mask is two totally different animals. Two totally different. This one's way wider than this one. So. You can't really, especially if you're looking at these two, you can't compare because this is something totally different than this. But this one I'm digging a lot because if the Velcro and the mass idea works, then yeah, this one will be fun. Boom. Ah, what else is going on here? Let me see if I can catch up. I hit the like button. I did. I promise you I did. Uh, but anyway, guys, so we're going to, I'm going to start winding things down. Uh, going to head upstairs, hang out with the missus. Got about an hour before I hit the, hit the rack, you know, you know, got to get up early in the morning. 3.30 get comes early. Um, but all seriousness, uh, tomorrow's video, I think you're really, really, I enjoyed uh, making tomorrow's video as Ren is spamming the chat right now with his copy and paste. <laughs> um, it's, it's really, really, it's really, really cool. I think you'll dig it. Um, and I'm going to try to do an after work hunt. Um, may try to do it tomorrow. Depends on how work goes. So yeah. It's hard to plan when you don't know what your day is going to be. See, you, Tom, man. But um, I want to. I want to try to give me a good. I love doing after work hunts. I really do. I don't know what it is about an after work hunt. They're just fun to do. Um, I don't really know of too much of anything. Uh, too many things that I'm really on the look for. I doubt very serious if I ever see the Casey Jones. I doubt it in my area. I just don't think that'll ever happen. So, uh, Rebels, thank you so much for that. Um, <laughs> the uh, But it's always fun for me just to get out and do the hunt because the hunt actually um, just makes things great. And I just, I just love it. So... But before we call things off for the night, once again, big shout out to Mr. Imagination. John, thank you so much for these awesome figures. And uh, now I have a box that's not busted up. And uh, big shout out to Toy Dealer 2020 for this awesome Darth Vader that I've never seen in my entire life but I can't wait to have fun with it and uh, sort of reminds me of my cranky the can in a way sort of reminds me of that but seriously though uh, without all of you 
um, in the community, it just would not be as good as it is. And I still think that the toy community is one of the best communities out there. I truly believe that. Wonderful people, just uh, just a great bunch of people. And I'm truly thankful for each and every one of you that not only support my channel, but also support other people as well. Um, keep the comments coming, keep the DMs coming. Just, you know, have fun and, oh, sorry, I was reading the chat. <laughs> It popped up. I had to read it. Uh, but no, seriously though, um, we'll um, be doing a toy photography video soon because of what tomorrow's video at 10 a.m. is all about. So if we can get 50,000 likes on tomorrow's video, I may do something. <laughs> I watch so many YouTube videos. Um, before I go, I gotta say this. There's one one video, uh, YouTubers that I watch all the time, uh, Ben Elliott and uh, Giles. They're over in the UK and they do a lot of crazy stuff to Elliott, his brother. And that's one of the things he always says in every one of his videos. It's just like, if we get 5,000 million likes of this video, I'll super glue something to my head or I'll, you know, jump off the second floor, you know? <laughs> so if we can get 50,000 likes for tomorrow's video, I will do something. I just don't know what. I don't know if it'll happen or not, but I got time. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hope y'all had a great day. Hope you have a great rest of the night. I hope you have a great rest of the week. Always remember, toys refresh your soul. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. <laughs>